Now, not all of the ceramic crystal structures have one cation for every one anion. In fact, there's a whole bunch where that's not the case. These are called, for example, AX2 type structures, where there are twice as many anions as there are cations, right? So one example would be rutile. That's titanium dioxide. By the way, titanium dioxide, uh, the white paint you see basically all around you, more than likely has TiO2 in it. It's a nice white molecule. It's very inexpensive. It's found in the dirt, so they use it for paint and pigments all over the place. Um, let's take a look at the structure. First off, we could calculate RC divided by RA, right? So titanium is going to be 4 plus. Oxygen is going to be 2 minus. Let's take a look at this. Titanium is going to be right here, 4 plus. It's going to be something like 0 0.605, where the oxygen, 2 minus, is going to be something like... Um, 1.38, right? So 1.38 and 0.65. So let's take that. 0 0.6 divided by 1.38, something like 0.434. What should that be? 0.434 puts it squarely in this octahedral category. So it should be surrounded by 6, right? The cation should be surrounded by 6. So do we see that in this crystal structure? Yeah. Here's our cation. This is titanium, right? It is surrounded by one, two, three, four, five, six oxygens, right? So the coordination number here equals six for the titanium four plus ion. If oxygen was also six, then we would not have a one to two formula. We would have a one to one formula. Because there are twice as many oxygens as there are titania, Oxygen must be surrounded by half as many as the titanium. So if titanium is surrounded by 6, oxygen must be surrounded by 3. And sure enough, you can see that. Oxygen, the coordination number here is just 3, right? 1, 2, 3. Right? It's surrounded by those 3, um, and that's for the oxygen 2 minus. Again, it had to be that way in order to maintain a 1 to 2 stoichiometry, where there's twice as much oxygen as there is titanium. Let's take a look at the structure in Vesta. In this structure, you can see uh, just what we saw before. First off, that it's sort of square on this one dimension, right? Looking down the c-axis, these sides look equal to one another. But this is now no longer equal. So this is different than the cubic structures we've seen in the past. In the cubic structures, it was a cube, right? So all these side lengths, a, a, and a, were all the same. But here you've got a is equal to b. a is equal to 4 and a half angstroms, well, 4.6 angstroms and C is equal to 3 angstroms about. So that's a pretty big difference. Let's look at this in polyhedral view. You can see that, sure enough, the titanium ion um, is surrounded by 6 oxygens. You can see that here, right? Each one of these has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you can see that these octahedra are not uh, what we call regular octahedra. They have different lengths, right? The oxygens out in these directions are longer, right? Those bonds are longer than those ones in this direction. So if we put this back in ball and stick mode, we can actually click on these bonds and see the length of the bonds and see that they're not exactly the same. Okay? So this is the uh, rutile structure. It's one example among many of the AX2 family of ceramics where the ions are no longer one-to-one -one ratio. In this case, there's twice as many ions as there are cations.